Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video we're going to work on these two examples and therefore we're going to be able to kill two birds with one stone and that's because these two examples correctly fall under uh, simplifying factorial expressions but they're also two very important combinatorial properties. Um, remember, n choose r tells you how many ways there are to choose r things from n things and clearly n choose r by definition involves factorials and I'll display what n choose r means in a second uh, using factorials but yeah um, there is actually a very intuitive reason why n choose r is equal to n choose n minus r but here we need to give an algebraic reason or an algebraic proof so that's what we're going to do and likewise with this other property of n choose r or combinatorics let's start with a n choose r by definition is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial and so then by using this definition and choose n minus r will look like this. Um, all we do is like in this expression here or in this equation here, we replace this r with n minus r and we replace this r with n minus r. And obviously we have to replace this r with n minus r when we want this. But yeah, in this part, be careful to uh, put the n minus r in a parenthesis, right? Like that. All right, all right, all right. And then uh, next, we could distribute this minus sign to these two guys. And if we do, we're going to be able to uh, write this, right? Uh, okay, cool, cool. And then clearly n minus n is 0. And then plus r is 0 plus r, so just r. And so we're basically done uh, with the first property, um, giving an al algebraic proof. Because, yeah, this here simplifies to this here, right? And in the denominator, if you really insist on making this look exactly like this here, uh, you could uh, swap the place that these guys are at, and um, that's because multiplication commutes, right? And so here we are, and that's that. All right, um, so let's go to B. B uh, is this, right? Uh, to show that n plus 1 choose r, you can read. All right, um, so first, by definition, n plus 1 choose r is this here. And I intentionally put it up here because we need the space and also like so we have in mind where we need to go right um in other words we have in mind what we need to turn these two guys into which is this right here right okay now by definition n choose r plus n choose r minus one are going to look like this and in order for us to add them we need to, we need to have them have the same denominators and since we have an r factorial here and we have an r minus one factorial here we need to multiply the second quotient by r in the numerator and the denominator. That way, the denominator in this part will just be r factorial. All right. Uh, so if we do that, then um, we're going to get uh, this, which is, as I said, we multiplied uh, top and bottom of this second quotient by r to make this r factorial, because r times r minus 1 factorial is r factorial. All right. Um, so that means that this here is r factorial, as is this here. but this here uh, is not that, right? So we need this guy and this guy to look alike also. That way we have common denominators. Now, notice that if I distribute this minus sign here uh, to this guy so that I could get rid of the parentheses around r minus 1, it'll read n minus r plus 1, which is the same as n plus 1 minus r, right? And so the denominator of this second quotient in this part anyway is identical to uh, this part of uh, the denominator of where we need to go. Um, that again is because uh, this says n minus r plus 1, which is the same as n plus 1 minus r. And notice that n uh, plus 1 minus r is the bigger factorial one compared to n minus r factorial, right? When we compare n minus r factorial and we compare this factorial, which is the same as n plus 1 minus r factorial, we're saying that this here is the bigger factorial of the two when comparing this guy and this guy. Okay, uh, and in fact, it's exactly one more. So what we need to do, I'm saying, is we need to multiply this quotient, this first quotient here, by n plus 1 minus r in the numerator and denominator. Um, so that was quite a lot, right? First, we need to rewrite this as r factorial, and then we need to rewrite this as... Uh, n plus 1 minus r factorial, and then we need to multiply this here top and bottom by n plus 1 minus r factorial. And if we do all that, um, then this is what we'd get, right? Um, 
this r factorial is that r factorial, the, this n factorial is that n factorial, this n minus r factorial is this n minus r factorial, and then as I said, we multiply top and bottom by n plus 1 minus r, right? Um, that's in the first quotient. And in the second quotient, this has turned into r factorial as it should, but otherwise, um, this part is good, right? Um, so yeah. All right. Now, um, then this denominator is identical to this uh, denominator at this point, right? And so all we have left to do is simplify in the numerators, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So um, let's um, do that. Let's simplify in the numerators. To simplify in the numerators, let's, in this first quotient, distribute this n factorial to these two guys. And yes, I say two guys because n plus one I'm counting is like one guy. Yeah? And so if we do that, then what, what it will mean is n factorial times n plus one is just going to be n plus one factorial. And then we'll have minus n factorial times r, which is minus r times n factorial. And then this denominator is good, right? This here has simplified to, uh, or is, is the same as that. And that's what I mean by simplify. Okay, okay, you get it. And then otherwise, the second quotient we didn't need to mess with. So I've left it alone. And then now, since the denominators are already equal and have been equal for a little bit now, uh, we could just uh, write one denominator and work on combining the numerator, st the stuff in the numerator. And clearly what we'll combine is negative r times n factorial plus r times n factorial is going to turn into zero. I've just showed, showed it to you uh, for, yeah, like, so you see it. But... Um, then what you'll have left is n plus 1 factorial in the denominator, and then this denominator, uh, sorry, n plus 1 factorial in the numerator. You, heard, you knew what I meant. And then in the denominator, well, it's the same old. So uh, this here is then exactly equal to this, which is n plus 1 choose r as desired. Yeah? All right, cool. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and keep watching. Take care.